Number 8. 1997 D. Roosevelt Dime with Full Bands. Graded as MS 68 FB by PCGS. The 1997 D. Roosevelt Dime can easily be found up to MS 67 condition. However, with full band details on the reverse torch design it is very hard to find examples in most grades with the full band details. In MS-68 or higher with full bands they are considered very scarce to rare. PCGS reports just two specimen in that grade, including this coin which was sold for $2,160. Number 7. This is 1992 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS-67 condition with full steps. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1992 D. Jefferson Nickel was very well struck for the most part. Examples in MS-65 condition or lower are easy to find. In MS-66 condition they are much more difficult to find, especially with the full steps designation. Examples grading higher than MS-66 are scarce, especially if they have the full steps characteristics. This MS-67 FS gem ended up selling for $3,760. Number 6. 1992 S. Silver Kennedy Half Dollar with Double Die Obverse. Graded as FS 101 PR 69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. This is another Kennedy Half variety that is exceedingly elusive and trades so seldom that the PCGS price guide shows absurdly low prices for the variety. Untoned silver white example beams with splendid luster and profound contrast between frosted devices and mirrored fields. The distinctive, bold notching indicating die doubling is easily seen on the designer's initials, the 92 of the date, and much of the obverse lettering. It was sold for $2,585. Number 5. This is 1962 Lincoln sent in MS-67 plus red condition. It is sometimes difficult to remember that the Lincoln Memorial scent design is now more than half a century old. Despite massive minages, these coins were not saved and are now condition rarities. The surfaces of this specimen are brilliant and frosty with rich orange mint color. Marks and spots are absent on this superb gem which ended up selling for $8,812.50. Number 4. This is 1970s large date Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as MS65 read by PCGS. Broad doubling on Liberty and the motto should make this extremely rare variety highly desirable, but it remains terribly underrated. Each side is lustrous copper orange with minor scattered ticks and a bit of softness, but its most important feature, the strong doubling, is readily apparent. It was sold for $9,987.50. Number 3. 1964 Lincoln Sent from Special Mint Set. Graded as MS-65 read by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, numismatists love a good mystery, and the 1964 SMS sets certainly provide one. The sets first appeared publicly in Stax auctions in 1993 and 1994, as far as we can tell. The prevailing view is that they originated in the estate of former Mint director Eva Adams and were bought by coin dealer Lester Merkin. Like all of the 1964 SMS coins, the present Lincoln scent displays a razor-sharp strike with high, squared-off rims, and heavy, haphazard die polishing, here more prominent on the obverse. This specimen was sold for $11,400. Number 2. 1962D Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. It is a paradox of certain issues laid in the Silver Washington Quarter series that while they were minted in far greater quantities than many of their predecessors, in some cases they are unavailable in the same high grades. Pale glints of gold and lemongrass patina settle over otherwise silver surfaces with booming luster. A touch of striking distortion is noted on the word in from the motto in God we trust. This CAC proven superb quarter fetched a sum of $16,450. Number 1. This is 1992 D. Lincoln sent with close AM. Graded as MS64 red and brown by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, Lincoln sent specialists are aware that proof dies during much of the 1990s and 2000s differed in design from business strikes. The distance between the feet of the AM in America is a pickup point, as is the distance between the FG initials and the memorial. One die pair intended for production in 1993 was inadvertently used for Denver strikes in 1992, and due to the high attrition rate of modern sense, only a few examples have been located. This is a lustrous orange gold near gem with minimal carbon and the look of a finer grade. 
It ended up selling for $20,700. Thanks for watching this episode till the end. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe buttons below this video. And comment if you have such rare coins. Stay well.